I want to show you how to create a custom drop shadow. You can see I've got this mock-up, which is a PNG on my carousel cover. So I'm just going to unlock this for a second. So you can see I've got this image. It's already got some shadows on it because I saved it like that from Photoshop. But you can see I'm overlaying it on some text. And you can see there should be a shadow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press P for the pen tool. Now what I'm going to do is just basically click and make a box or any type of shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to do it like this. And what I'm going to do, just change the color real quick. And I'm going to press Control. And I'm going to press the left square bracket to bring it below. And so what I want to do is I'm going to select the mock-up. And I can bring that on top just like that. Press Control Shift, right square bracket. So now I've got this shape here. I'm going to make it black. And I'm going to go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Just like we normally do in Photoshop. And so I'm going to drop the pixels down. I don't want to make it, you know, too much. So if you... If you put it lower, it's going to be harsher. If you bring it up, it's going to be a bit more lighter. So I think maybe six pixels looks good. Now, if I zoom out, you can see, you can see that it looks more realistic. You can do the same thing for the pencil as well. Grab the pen tool. I'm going to line it up with my object. So the pencil is pretty straight like a rectangle. I'm going to go like this, go apply Gaussian blur. And I can actually apply a multiply as well. That's another effect you can do. And it's going to do a just like that, a drop shadow. Now it looks way better. It looks more realistic and you can do it on any object in Illustrator. If you want to see more tutorials just like this, click on the video on the screen for more.